Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 now. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the TWAB. I know I'm a little late on this, but uh, I took a little break from YouTube just because uh, I needed them. I needed a break for a little bit, but I'm coming back because it's fucking wild what they're doing with the sandbox changes. And obviously, this isn't the whole story we're going to see in Beyond Light, like extra things like maybe... Some of these changes are warranted, uh, maybe stasis really slows down the game a lot, but man, let's just get right into it. You guys are going to be seeing some, some random gameplay at the background, but basically let's talk about what everyone wants to know about. So lightweight frames are turning into adaptive frames, basically 150s are just turning into 140s this includes luna's howl not forgotten one exotic hand cannon will retain 150 which is sunshot so this is wild all spare rations uh dire promise all the 150s that we know i know there's one, another one for the the energy sly i forget what it's called but uh jack queen kings i think it's called um and we're not even talking about exotics either, like the, <clears throat> like Thorn. The only one that's such, dude, it's so wild that we don't have 150s anymore. Uh, I really don't know how I feel about this. On one hand, it's like, cool, 150s, honestly, like, whatever, 140s, 150s, it was literally a, like a 10, 10 difference, so... It's pretty cool that we're not having that anymore. I know a lot of people would have preferred if 150s would have stayed, but I think 140s are better for the game. I do think these changes are pretty much just dog shit if auto rifles are not changed. I know in higher end gameplay, a lot of like high end players will prefer a hand cannon just because they can peek out of like cover and then shoot and then shoot. I know they can do that. I just I just think the auto rifles are a little too powerful right now, but they do talk about auto rifles later. So let's look at the other hand cannon changes. So one tw 110s are turning into 120s, which is really cool. Broke out aggressive hand cannons, allowing custom tunings of stats, damage, fall off for a 100 range in this sub subfamily now starts at 32. Uh, I'm I like that range means something again. So this is great Adaptive adaptive and precision Range set now has more impact on damage uh, Fall off range for both archetypes damage fall off for 100 range now starts at 25 was 20 uh, the precision hand cannon one is pretty much like Negligible like no one was not using precision hand cannons because of the magazine size uh, just no, that was not the reason why we were not using hand cannons. They're actual dog shit. So this, this is not good. <laughs> uh, I think the only good change about the precision hand cannon is the fact that, uh, malfeasance gets a bump in exotics or in, in uh, magazine. So that's pretty cool. But other than that, I just, no. So sniper rifles, we want sniper rifles to feel powerful without being so easy to use that they dominate. Adjusted how aim assist is affected by sniper rifle zoom level. Lower zoom scopes have less a uh, aim assist. Higher zoom scopes have more. <clears throat> scopes with around 50 zoom are unchanged. Lowest, lowest, bleh, bleh. Lowest zoom scopes have a large reduction in aim assist cone angle. Highest, highest zoom scopes have a small increase. So this one's really funny because no one's using really high zoom sniper rifles, not because they're bad, but be, it's just the, the map design. Like we don't really have a lot of maps that are like big and this all this stems from like destiny 2 vanilla like we had really small corridor maps because of just how the game was made so you don't see a lot of people have like the high zoom because it's just pointless like there's you don't have people sniping from across like 
I don't know. Like, once Bungie realizes that, they should take all the Bun all the Destiny 2 vanilla maps, readjust them, make them bigger, and then just, then maybe people will start using high zoom scopes more. Because it's like, there's so many maps I can talk, like, say off the top of my head that it's just like, this map is too small to use high zoom scopes. That's why a lot of people use high, high low zoom scopes, because it's just easier to use with small maps. So... Yeah, this one's gonna this one's this one's gonna suck for some people. Uh, hopefully, this change does affect the like the flinch because I think that's what more 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 people wanted to see like the actual flinch because it's dumb that I can shoot people I can like do everything right and I still get killed because the fucking flinch hits you into my head like that's the reason why people are like maybe adjust snipers. So that when I shoot them, they don't fucking shoot me in the head. Because that's stupid. So, you know, just food for thought. Auto rifles in Season of the Worthy, the adaptive archetype 600 uh, round per minute was given a buff for pulling that back a little to keep it in check with other uh, auto rifle archetypes. Adaptive damage per bullet reduced from 15.75 to 14.25. Note, prior to Season of the Worthy, damage per bullet was 13.75. So, this sounds cool. Uh, I'm just wondering if the TTK will really change that much. Like, enough to feel like, okay, they're not dominating anymore. Because, I can tell you right now, auto rifles are... I do not like an auto rifle meta. I've never liked it, just because... It's fucking horrible. Don't get me wrong. I feel. I think. I think I've said like, oh yeah, this is cool. It's just that uh, auto rifles, man. Like they re like when they dominate you. They it feels like it's just dominating. At least like with hand cannons and shit like that, you have to hit your shots. Auto rifles, dude. Like you really don't. <laughs> like you don't have to hit like your headshots at all. You just gotta. Sp you gotta pray and spray dude like that's really it or spray and pray and not like sometimes it's not even spray and pray it's just spray like it's so it's so stupid easy that's why i don't like it because it just it's a gross meta and if you like it i mean like hey man do you man but i i don't like it at all so scout rifles scouts have a reasonable time to kill for 150 sure and can't be adjusted too much without making them dominate the battlefield. So we're making them a little easier to use. Increase how much each point of the aim assist widens the uh, aim assist cone. Fuck, I, I want to say AA. <laughs> the maximum the aim assist cone is now 50% wider. Uh, I guess I don't. I don't know, man. I we'll see. I don't want to judge this too hard, but. I feel like scout rifles are pretty dog shit, I'm not gonna lie. And this again ties to like just map design. The maps are way too small, no one's gonna use a scout rifle when someone can pop the corner at any time with like a shotgun or something. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of people would rather have like a hand cannon with a shotgun. Uh, if SMGs were better, I, I would promote using an SMG. I just, I love SMGs, don't get me wrong, but I would have loved to see an SMG buff because they just are bad. Like the they're just not that good um so yeah sky rifles we'll see we'll see rocket launchers these heavy weapons currently have very low reserves so we're uh, so we're adjusting that we expect to take another look at rocket launchers in the future increase reserves by one or two rockets depending on inventory st stat this one's cool uh it's a cool change i wonder if it works on exotics but I do think this is a weak change only because uh, we still want to see damage. <clears throat> don't get me wrong. Like, I don't want to like, I don't want to see rocket launchers come back like really heavily. I, I'm actually, honestly, if you're asking me, I'm a big fan of rocket launchers. I've been a big fan of rocket launchers since fucking Gallahorn. So I would love to see rocket launchers come back. <clears throat> But I do understand why they're afraid to, for them to come back. So what, like whatever. But I would love to see Rogalanders come back as a like an optimal damage weapon. Not like oh this is the best thing to use, but like 
right now in raids, we pretty much have really cool things we can use. We can use like uh, Xenophage. We can use uh, what's that gun called? I forget. Uh, oh man, I forgot what that gun is called. It's a it's a linear fusion or it's one from the raid. One thousand voices. We can use that. We can use a bunch of stuff. I, uh, I personally would love to see rocket launchers come back, just because, dude. It's like, it's been a while. It's been a while. So, let's look at perks now and like specific weapons. So, outlaw the reload speed increase felt insufficient with certain subfamilies and combination of roles. Increase reload strat or uh, sat bonus from fifty to plus seventy, which is obvious the outlaw perk was dog shit so this is this is a good change i do think it's gonna really really uh invalidate like uh the other reload perks so this this is gonna this is gonna be a negative for every other reload uh perk but overall outlaw getting the buff really needed it uh, outlaw just felt like it felt really bad so unfortunate for our what's it called uh i apologize i haven't played i haven't kept up with destiny in a while uh opening dim just to fucking name that one perk and it's my one of my favorite perks and it still pisses me off that they destroy that weapon or that perk rapid hit uh r.i.p rapid hit i guess because it's it's, it became dog shit now. Merciless, increased inventory stat from 36 to 55, which is pretty cool. Uh, hopefully we see a lot more people using that. I probably will, most like, no I'm not. Mountaintop, we've had a ton of feedback that Mountaintop feels a bit over the top. In Crucible modes, this pinnacle weapon has had ample time to shine, so we're taking it down a notch. This one kind of hurts me because I love Mountaintop. Don't get me wrong, in PvP it's fucking horrible, but in PvE, it's awesome. So, I'm a little sad to see Mountaintop go away. Uh, I would love it if these changes were literally just uh, Pv PvP related, not PvE. But, again, with sunsetting, it doesn't really matter, so... I'm not going to say the specific pain points because I feel like everyone knows this already. So let's look at the changes. Reduce splash damage by 33%. Increase impact damage such that total damage is 5% lower than before. Pretty crazy. Reduced projectile velocity multiplier from the micro missile perk from 1.4 to 1.2. It's now 20% faster than other breach grenade launchers instead of 40%. Reduced in-air accuracy now has significant projectile error while in air. Around 7 degrees without the Icarus Grip mod, substantially less width. That one, that's fucking wild. 7 degrees is a lot, so... I don't think, I don't think Mountaintop has been murdered. I just think a lot of people are going to be using it on the ground more. Uh, I just question why you would use Mountaintop now. But I still think it's going to be like really annoying, especially like if you have multiple people using mountaintop, you're still probably going to be able to get like a kill with two mountaintops. If you can't, that's going to be fucking wild. But hey, man, I it was happening. We all knew this. So R.I.P. mountaintop. Fallen guillotine reduced heavy attack by 24% to bring it in line with other swords. Ah. That one hurts me a little. I love Fallen Guillotine. Fallen Guillotine will continue to be slightly above average, just not to the extent that it is now. If it was an exotic, I hope. I, f I feel like <clears throat> it wouldn't have gotten this big of a nerf, so Fallen Guillotine should have came back as an exotic. Fuck. Uh, Mita Multi Tool and Mita Mini Tool. Mita Mini Tool moved to the Mita Synergy trait to the intrinsic, similar to how the Barak version works. Added the following perks Hip Fire Grip and Kill Clip. <clears throat> so, uh, wait. The Gunsmith will begin selling a version of this weapon on November 10th with no infusion cap. Ooh. So, this is what I'm getting. The Mighty Mini Tool has no infusion cap. It's literally a gun we'll always be able to use. And it has hip fire grip and kill clip. Me personally, I think hip fire grip is dog shit. I'm never hip firing a SMG, but okay. Kill clip on the other hand, I'm feeling that one. That one's pretty cool, but hip fire grip just seems kind of bad in my opinion. 
so Sturm and Drang, Drang moved to, it's the same thing with uh, with the Mita Mini tool. It basically moved into, or the Together Forever trait is intrinsic, similar to the Barak version. And it added accurized rounds with mute moving target, which now gives it, I think, what is it? Rampage and moving target with accurized rounds, if I'm remembering correctly. That's pretty fucking cool. I'm kind of excited for it. Uh, there, there's an issue. Same thing, no infusion cap. That's really cool. So that means that Drang and Mind and Mini Tool are literally forever weapons. So that's cool because I know a lot of people love Drang, and me personally, I love the Mind and Mini Tool. I love the the season of Menagerie version of it more, but. I mean, I'm still going to use the Mighty Mini tool. Hopefully, we'll still be able to use some of the skins that we have. Or they include the Barak version and the skin that it came with. If not, that's kind of be... That's kind of... Kind of... It's going to be kind of a bummer. There we go. Ruinous Effigy Transmutation Spheres reduce the damage of aerial me melee attack by 25%. Significantly reduce the damage of the drain effect on enemy combatants. No. Arbalist no longer strikes shields multiple times, but its efficacy against shielded targets has been increased. Interesting. I wonder if it's going to be even better for shields. Well, obviously it says that, but I wonder how much better it's going to be. Jade Rabbit. Armor piercing rounds swap to high caliber rounds this fix is an issue that prevented the exotic perk from triggering i don't think this is going to change much um you're still going to have people getting shot in the fucking face because that's how staggering or that's how like uh, flinching works in this stupid game so you're still going to see people get shot in the head it's just going to be like oh i went up a little bit more than usual and that's pretty much it for weapon changes. We're, we're going to look at adept weapons later. Most likely because I'm not really much of a PvP uh, oriented type, type of person. I'm just... I don't know what I am. I just... I do pretty much everything. So we'll look at the adapt the adept weapons and all the changes that's coming to later. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll link to in the description below. Thank you everyone for the support. I really do appreciate it. I, uh, I do apologize that I haven't been posting lately this week. It's just like I said, I needed a break. I needed more of a like a mental like reset, which made means that like I ended up painting a new mini that I've been wanting to do for a while. It's a salamander from the 40k universe, and I think it came out really cool. I obviously have a picture right now, and yeah, I just I needed the, I needed that just mental week of just like ah uh, like I'm just doing me right now. Which felt great. Thankfully, there was nothing happening in Destiny 2. But, yeah. Uh, I'm back and I'm going to be doing a few more videos. Thankfully, Beyond Light's coming out like in a few days. I do have the Collector's Edition coming in. So, once that comes in, we'll uh, probably do a video on that, hopefully. And, yeah. I will see you guys later. Be safe, be healthy, and, yeah. Just later. Bye.